nice black fin tuna that we caught on Wednesday. It's now Friday. We are gonna do a very simple recipe. Black, uh, black peppercorn, we're gonna sear it uh, over green beans and rice with some soy sauce. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait, got this nice slab of meat right here. Cut out the board line. Um, doesn't get much better than that, any fresh than that. Zoom in on this meat, look how good this looks. This is gonna be delicious. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna start with the green beans. I'm not a professional cook by any means. So I'm gonna eyeball everything. Um, I'm gonna start with some oil, some olive oil. It says one and a half tablespoons. That looks like one and a half tablespoons to me. We got some freshly picked green beans from the farmer's market of Publix. I'm gonna throw these in here. Probably won't be able to get them on here. Hands are clean, coronavirus free, hopefully. And then I got some garlic powder. My grandfather always said you could have never have too much garlic on anything. So definitely not measuring anything for this one. We got a little garlic salt. And then some onion powder. I'm just gonna mix this up real good and get that oil working. a few green beans out because it's not a real cooking show unless you make a mess. See what happens. Are you coming to help me? You want to play with the tuna? All right, so we're going to cut this in two even pieces. So probably right there. We got the green beans working in the back. Hey, you want to play with that? No, I'm just kidding. You can play with that. Next, I'm going to melt butter in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and throw those peppercorns. Make sure it's a nice high heat peppercorns are starting to pop and just gonna lay this right in but first we gotta throw some kosher salt on here season this pretty good rub it in there I'm gonna hit all four sides because these are bigger pieces of meat just gotta massage it in there like the first time you met your wife Girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you're gonna do. This is a big chunk of meat. So this is gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna sear all four sides hot. Next, we're gonna hit it with a little dusting of cayenne pepper, which I need to take the wrapper off. I'll go ahead and use that. All right, and we're back. I'm gonna dust it with, this, what is this? Cayenne red pepper. Rub it in there real good again. Hit all well, I guess it's six sides. Hey, Nolan, cover your mouth. It's coronavirus going around. Good job, buddy. That was a fake cough. All right, I massaged my meat. Now I'm ready to get the pan ready. Look at that. It's gonna be delicious. I don't wanna over season these because then you lose the tuna flavor. So it's gonna be good. I'm gonna wash my hands. Right, green beans are working, rice are working. We got half a tablespoon of butter. My dad always said never trust the skinny chef. That's me. Move this around a little bit. And it has two tablespoons of olive oil. And then next here is our peppercorn. Start moving that around a little bit. Oh yeah. Wait for these peppercorns to start popping, and then we're gonna throw the tuna in. I'm gonna start with this big chunk. Throw this right in the middle. Oh, it smells so good already. I'm just gonna try to move this oil and the peppercorn into them. 
one of the best pans. The budget YouTube channel. I should do it with a nice hot skillet. Sit nice down the popcorn in the oil, in the butter. Smells so good. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. I'm so excited. The most impatient chef in the world. I think I'm going to do this with Tom. And I'm doing this for a very short period of time. This one, I'm just going to rotate it on the other side. Go back in. Okay, that's not working. I'm just going to put it right on the side like that. Hit this side for a second. This piece is much larger, so I'm not doing that side yet. It's a really hot pan, that's really important. I'm keeping that oil and the peppercorn working in there. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate this one right onto the top. And you'll notice if you zoom in here, Jeremy, like what we're trying to keep that nice red thin layer. I'm gonna rotate that one now. This will be the last piece. Okay, this one now. Get that oil working back in there. I would say this piece is done. That's how quick it is. And look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? That sound like Mario Pitali when I said that? Mm -hmm. Probably going for it. And this piece, I believe it's done. Do that on purpose. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I said it looks pretty good. Yeah. Now it's time to plate it. Let's go. I'm excited. Am I flexing? Alright, we're going to cut into this now. You ready? Are you filming? Alright, we're going to cut into this now. Nice crispy outside, nice juicy red inside. I need a sharper knife. Four good chunks there. I call it black bean every time. Catch a lot of grouper, a lot of snapper. Yeah. Don't catch these black bean very often. It's an easy recipe too. You want to try a piece? My filmer is my brother tonight. You can thank him. <laughs> Let us know. Sign. Bring my wife over here, Katie. Try a piece. Split this piece with you. A plate? A plate? Inside? Yeah. Yummy. Mmm, that's yummy. Yeah, that black peppercorn gives it a nice little kick. Cayenne. What are you doing to my meat? Baby approved? No one doesn't like it. <laughs> Put it in my hand. <laughs> Thank you. You don't like it? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>